G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. I figured out that I needed to make an internal curve on the inside of each of my staves. The reason for this is when I go to cut my crow's groove, which is the name of this groove on a barrel, apparently, I looked it up on Google, uh, I wanted that groove to actually be roughly a circle rather than a 12-sided shape, which again has a name, I just don't know what it is. Dodecahedron? I think that's 20. Anyway, whatever a 12-sided shape is. The reason I need it to be roughly circular is because I wanted the fit when I put my lid inside this shape, I wanted that fit to be fairly consistent. If you don't need this to be a very tight waterproof fit, like if you're just creating something ornamental, this is not really important. You can create these little grooves just directly straight rather than trying to match that curve and it'll be totally fine. My barrel has an outside diameter of roughly 300 millimeters. The simplest way that I figured out to get this internal curve is actually to use my 300mm table saw blade, just expose like about a millimetre of that blade and push this piece of timber laterally, so sideways, along that blade. Now you've got to be careful when you're doing this, you don't want to put too much force on the blade so that you're going to bend it, you just want to let the teeth eat away that material as you gently push it over the blade. In order to do this safely and efficiently, I have just used my little cross cut jig. I'm not going to go into how to make this. If you wanted you could even just clamp some stock square across the blade and just raise the blade up until it was high enough. But the basic principle of this is this jig sits perpendicular to the direction of the blade. It allows you to do accurate cross cuts that are exactly 90 degrees to the blade and I have set this so the blade is just exposed and the curvature of the blade doesn't cut these two sides, it just cuts away some of that meat in the middle. So again, you can use that grey lead trick that I showed you before with the chamfer to draw some lines on the edge of your piece of timber that you haven't cut yet. This is why it's handy to have a few of these spare. So you're drawing grey lead on these faces. Do a little test, make sure that the uh, those faces are retained, you want about a millimetre or, or even less of that grey lead retained while the meat in the inside is removed. Uh, this actually works really well, I've done most of them already, I just have a few more to go to show you. Uh, I put these spaces on my cross cut sled just so the, uh, my stave can't go anywhere, it can't get pushed around by the, bl on, by the blade on the table saw, it just fits in this slot and goes exactly where I need it to go. I clamp this whole thing down, go slow, turn on the dust extraction because you're creating a lot of dust and I'll finish off the last couple of these. Obviously remember, you're trying to curve the inside, not the outside, so place your stave down, staves down in this jig accordingly. 